Paging Drake or David Bonson, Gulfstream unveiling a widely expected G700 in Vegas this week. The plane featuring a new Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engine cockpit, five zone with space, including crew, rest area. And it could be yours for only 75 million bucks. Gulfstream, by the way, a division of General Dynam Dynamics, which had a pretty good earnings report this morning. Now, they've received 10 orders for this. Uh, they say, though, that once the China trade stuff simmers down, they expect to bring in more orders. Speaking of which, uh, here's my theory when it comes to China trade. Uh, you know, I'm thinking that uh, maybe we're going to get a trade deal before six months. And the reason I believe it, well, yesterday the Richmond Fed came in with some information that was very similar to the Philly Fed last week. They see amazing, amazing demand in less than six months. I don't think that would happen if they didn't think there was going to be a trade deal. Let's bring him in now, David Bonson at the Bonson Group. Uh, great having you here, David. Yes, Charles. Good to be with you. So what do you think about my theory? Again, if you could see the chart, and it, it, it's, it's amazing to me when I looked at this last week on the Philly Fed. Current, current conditions are down here. We know that. And expectations, and we're talking work week, employment, new order shipments mm -hmm. through the roof. Same thing yesterday with the Richmond Fed. You can't anticipate that kind of a turnaround without factoring in the trade deal. You know, the same thing happened a few weeks ago around that ISM services that was really negative, but then, which was more a measurement of sentiment, but then the actual business activity came in far better. There's still a big disconnect between the present and what people think about the future. And I think the future looks better, and I think anticipation of a trade. Trade war is as uh, trade war resolution is as good a reason as any. We also know, Charles, that there's a lot of political motivation to get one done, and that's one thing that I'm very confident in is that the president has advisors. We know Larry Kudlow, we know Secretary Mnuchin, that are telling him that this is where things could go if we don't right. kind of wrap this up. That phase one deal was better than people gave it credit for. We still have room to go. We have to address some other issues. I really hope we're on our way. You know, when the uh, Moody's economic uh, uh, report on the election was out last week. The, the one comment they made that I think is really true, you can create 500,000 manufacturing jobs, but three months in before the election, you don't want to lose 20 or 30,000. That's right. right. You, That's you right. Know, and so the president is well aware of this. There's no doubt about it. China's aware of it, too, but they've been making very nice. I mean, they really have... Uh, uh, some lower ministers are saying we don't need to dominate the world anymore. Yep. They want a deal. It just feels like both sides are ready. I think there's pragmatic reasons for both sides. They're different pragmatic reasons. Ours are more probably short-term political. Theirs are more short and long-term economic. But both sides have a lot of motivation. But I really think that on the manufacturing jobs front, you want to be running for president with a big increase in manufacturing jobs. You don't want to be running for president saying, I'm going to ban fracking and that's going to destroy manufacturing jobs jobs, which, of course, is what Elizabeth Warren is saying. I think the president has a better message, but the manufacturing jobs can't be undermined by ongoing trade uh, dispute. Yeah. Uh, the Federal Reserve, uh, there's some talk on the street today uh, about just the, the persistence, uh, the need, first of all, for this repo program, which was a one day event, a two day event. Now it's, tr uh, it's going into the next month or so. Just some anxiety. Now, most pros I talk to say it's not a big deal, but is that true? Is it not a big deal? Um, I don't believe it's a big deal, and I've studied it quite a bit. But the reason why people g have this uncertainty around it is that everything with the Fed, everything with monetary policy is mysterious. It's opaque. And so there's just enough kind of mystery that it leads to skepticism when something doesn't feel right. Fundamentally, though, what Chairman Powell said is exactly what's been going on. He did not say this it would take one or two days and it would go right. back to normal. Right. He said we're going to end up basically adding to our balance sheet, kind of like they pre-08 monetary right. activity. Right. That's what they're doing. All I right. don't think it's something to worry about right now. All right. We're not worried if David's not worried. Good Folks, deal. the Dow's off 25 points. 